old site here, a uh, Civil War site. And there actually used to be a house that sat right in here that we believe may have been the hospital, used as the hospital for uh, during the Civil War. And I've been over this a thousand times, I guess. Got a little squeaky signal down six, eight inches. It, it's full of nails up here. That's an old umbrella slide. Never hunted out. I thought that might be a pewter spoon. And I still about halfway think it is a pewter spoon. It's got a little design there on the back. Came out of that hole right there, it's probably, I'd say it's eight or nine inches deep right there. We had a good rain. Signals are getting a little deeper right now. This one here didn't sound all that great, but I've got a bullet right there. And I'm pretty sure that it's a Colt 44. That's what it is. Good drop, Colt 44. In the woods right in front of me right here, found a ton of 44s. That's a good find right there today. Civil War relic. I'll take it. This one here was a surprise. It's a fairly deep hole and it was in the bottom of it there. But it's a flat button. I've not found too many flat buttons up here on this uh, Civil War site here. Found a lot of eagle buttons, but uh, there was an old house here, so that's a great find. Might be a little bit of wind noise. I'm trying to block it, trying to put it to my back. Out of that hole right there, which is probably about six inches deep, I've got a, uh, I got a little 31 buck ball. It's a pretty weak signal. But up on this Civil War site, that's a period. I'm up in part of a uh, Civil War camp that I've never hunted. I've hunted the camp, I've never hunted in here. And you can see that there are some, there's some pieces of brick all laying right in here. And uh, I just got a shallow target right here. And it is a little buckle. I don't know if that's period or not, but it's a good find. See what else is in here. This was a real shallow target right here. And uh, I've found these before. It is a gold-plated ring. And on the outside, it's got some kind of pattern. You can see a little bit of gold around the outside edges. This is not solid gold. I know it's plated. And I don't know if that would be Civil War period. I don't much think so. But anyway, I'll do a little bit of checking on it and see that's a good find this morning this is a iron buckle but that sure could be period I found Civil War stuff all around this spot I never have hunted it it's pretty grown up in here but uh, I'll take that you guys look at this right here I'm just in a thicket I mean you can't you can't hardly even move in here. I got a pretty good signal out of that hole right there. And it is a little horse tack buckle. Here below the Civil War, uh, where the old house used to be. That could be period right there. 
I want to do a shout out today to Backcountry Diggers. You see their channel there on your screen. They hunt this kind of brush like me and Jeff do. Find some good colonial relics and other good finds and put out good videos. I think you're going to like Backcountry Diggers. Check them out. Like, subscribe, and share. Be sure and tell them that Seven and Tennessee Jeff sent you. I got up this morning and got on historic aerials and I found an old house site right in here. You can see all of the uh, daffodils. The flowers are gone now. But you are officially watching a Digging with Seven episode now. Because I've got another harmonica read. This piece was bent and uh, I have uh, straightened it out and brushed it off. It has five eighths at the top and in the middle here it says brass shoe nails. I think that's nails because down here at the bottom it has Rome Tack and Nail Company, Rome, New York. That five eighths would be, I would guess, the length of the nail. I wonder if those brass tacks or nails were used to nail on the brass toe taps. I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. That's a good find. It was evidently just the lid to uh, a little tin that kept brass tacks and nails. <laughs> I was intrigued whenever I found this little tin that said Rome Tack and Nail Brass Shoe Tacks 5 8 I wondered about the date on that and I really got excited whenever I googled it and I found this ad that uh, said Civil War Brass Box of Brass Shoe Nails and I wondered could this be a Civil War item? But I never rely on just one source, and so I began to do some research on the company. I found this ad in a magazine called Hardware, devoted to the American hardware trade, volume 11, page 107, that was printed April the 10th of 1895. And I found an ad for these brass uh, shoe tacks. But then, as I went back and looked more at the company, I found out that it was a subsidiary of Rome Brass and Copper, and that company wasn't established until 1879. So there's no way that these brass tacks were used uh, in the Civil War, but they could still have been used to nail on the uh, brass toe taps. It's a great find. This in here was a little scratchy, but it had a piece of a repeatable tone to it. I think it's iron. I don't think it's brass. Probably six inches deep. That's a different kind of buckle. I haven't found one exactly like that. Maybe horse tack. I don't know. It's a good find though. There used to be a house right on the crest of that hill right there. And I've hunted quite a bit in here before. I've got a, and there's a lot of stuff that uh, has been thrown off of this slope right here. That's uh, trash and what have you, I guess. But out of that hole right there, I've got a, uh, I've got a flat button. I think the shank is broke. It may be bent over. I can't tell. It's a little bitty cuff button. But I'll count it. I'm still working this slope right here. This one wasn't deep at all. And it is a uh, piece of a pewter spoon handle. Ring up high. Ring up 81. But uh, 
it's a piece of pewter for sure laying just don't right under the surface there I guess that's why it rang, rang up so high I'll take it though sure thought I had a coin out of that hole right there pulled up like that right there but then you see on the back side and I nicked it a little bit right there you see on the back side it is a flat button where the shank's been broke off of it but I like finding flat buttons that's one more here is one that was just under the surface and it's got a patent date on the back of it I can't read it some kind of little buckle here that uh, little piece right there broke off the back but uh, get it in and I'll take magnifying glass and see what I got right here should give me a date anyway it's an interesting find never seen one like that I got a colonial house right on top of that hill right there I've hunted quite a bit over the past two or three years I'm down the hill from it and found a nice little square buckle I don't know what that would have went on but uh, that's a nice relic.